Because right, the so-called right. Jew it's good, it's runs good, these good. colleges. You know what I'm saying? This is a first John. I you, these, they, the Bible talks about false teachers, okay? It talks a lot about false teachers. And you're Jezebel. And says that okay, the Jezebel. Bible, the Bible says women shall remain silent in church. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, shit. First time, you know, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that these were false teachers. Stop being so emotional. You're over emotional. The reason why people hate Christians. Where are you going? You're you over emotional. Where are you going, woman? It must be that time of the month. <laughs> A mistress woman. <laughs> A mistress fool. She's crying. She's crying. Oh, she's get her out here. She's actually crying. Get her out here. She's crying. And Baby, the don't cops cry. are right there. We can't be pointing no, cameras. No, we're outside. Get Baby, her out don't here. cry. Let me give you a hug. Come give me a hug. We can film whatever we want out here, bro. Come here, baby. Don't cry. She got her out of here. Hey, this truth is a bad. You gotta hit her with that scripture before she gets gone. See, and we was being cool with her. We wasn't yelling at her. No. Back in the day, I used to curse bitches out. Oh, I would call up like, bitch, you fucking son, you shut the fuck up. That's how I used to talk. And now I'm cool. I'm trying to be cool now. Look, it don't matter how nice you are to people. You see how nice I was? I was being mean, was I? But it doesn't matter. No matter how, you, the, the truth just comes out raw and it, it fucks your spirit. Like the Bible says that uh, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. That's the spirit. I'm right there. Uh, That's what I'm it was Hebrews 4 and 12. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm Because when, when the word comes out, That's exactly what it, it cuts, bro, like a sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? It cuts the spirit. <laughs> and and it, it cuts so deep in your spirit, it, it, it'll make a, make, like it'll make a woman cry. It'll make somebody commit suicide. <laughs> you hear me? Check this uh, out. Hebrews 4 and 12. So she would prove For the word of the Most High Yahweh is quick and powerful. <laughs> And sharper than any two-edged sword. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So the word cuts deep down in your soul. It's like we said, I brought this out before. Is uh, How do you spell the word sword? How do you spell it? The word sword got the word word in it. The word is in the word sword. You know what I'm saying? That's bad, ain't it? Hey, this is, everything that happens is a spiritual thing, man. You know? like, like I said, I was, we ain't about this carnal, I was trying to be nice to that girl. Hopefully one of us could have got her number or something. You know we what knew mean? we couldn't teach her shit. We, that's what we was just trying. Just Let me get your number, baby. Thing. You know what I'm I just asked her if she could do a kickflip. That's all. She's the one that wanted to stop and talk. Right, yeah. right. You know. And all of a sudden, we false teachers just because we we try to be nice to her. <laughs> Let me finish the rest of this. The piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and a tense of the heart. Tense of the heart. It just brings out who you really are. You come up here all you want, act like you. You know, the righteous and You're innocent scholar. and intelligent. Yeah. But once the scriptures come out, <laughs> you know. Yeah, she didn't hit one scripture. She was just coming out of her heart the whole time. Right. Right. She started crying. I mean, I'm like, we're really cool with Hey, but we had people start crying in front of us before. It ain't nothing yep. else. We oh, we had demons start people. flipping out on yeah, us. We had a guy, a fake Jew, start crying one time. He was down there with in front of Eddie Torres. It happened when a bunch of chaos was going on. I don't know if other brothers know you. Crazy stuff, man. Hit that. Whenever the scripture's coming out, <laughs> these demons come out with it. You know? And so like she go back, she wanna uh she's quick oh, to man, say fine. She's fine. What is she? And see this is what you call Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> see everybody is quick to worship their master like the so-called Jews over in Israel. They they quick to say that those are the Jews and they're quick to say that I'm they're not an Israelite. Like I told her that she was an Israelite. And she, she threw that name back at me. Like, I, I am not no Israelite. That's what Jake always does that. Don't give praise to the devil, the Antichrist, who don't believe in the Lord. But when we try to tell them that they're a child of God, they'll deny it. And, and they. That's something. It's amazing, bro. Yeah. But look, I got a scripture. You, you were slave for so long, you get comfortable. Yeah. That's what he said. Stop going to sleep. You've been a slave for so long, you're comfortable. And you, right? start, and you worship your master. Yeah. Comfortable you know with I mean? oppression. You get comfortable with it. And then you start to, in your mind, your mind starts to justify it. You know, you start to come, get comfortable, you start to like this shit, man. The Lord said, this is not your rest, so 
you know, so flee from it. So I got a scripture to back up what we're saying about this fake Jews. Uh, first John. Uh, hold on a second. First John uh, 2 and 22. Who is a liar, but he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the Christ. Mm -hmm. He is the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. So it said, if you deny the Son of the Most High, you're a liar. So why would anybody in their right state of mind listen to anything a so-called Jew got to say? Everything they say is a lie. Last week we read out that some of the shit out of the town. Were you here last week? Yeah, we did. We was reading some stuff out of the town about how they like little boys and girls, you know, that younger than the age of nine. You know, but no younger than the age of three in one day. And she even, <laughs> she even knew who the Khazars were, and she still Ain't said that they, crazy? she said they were still the real Jews. That's crazy. Man. That make no damn sense, man. Stupid. She knew a whole lot of shit, but she can't put it. In. Ever ever learning, but never able to come that's to the true. truth. That's you know, that's the scripture. Let me get that. What's that? What's that? In, uh, that's in uh, uh, Timothy. Damn, yeah, she's gonna be a mess for a week now. Only try. I was being cool with her. This is an Israelite. That's why you can't That's be cool with people, man. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was. I get some bad. But you, you don't want to. You, you don't want to have her for a girlfriend. <laughs> man, she had no more problems with her, bro. And just don't talk about the Bible with her. You'll uh, be straight. Yeah, she'll have your ass on lockdown. <laughs> I love some proverbs. Uh, I proverbs, love, come on, love some proverbs. Until you read them. <laughs> Here you go. I about lost it when you read 9 and 13. That was, that was a good one. Uh, traitors, heeding, high minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers Where's of that lover of God. This is Timothy, 2 Timothy 3 and 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. All right, so she believed in the Most High. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But she didn't have no knowledge. From such, turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women. Silly women. Laden <laughs> with sin. That's your girl. She was silly, a silly woman. Mm -hmm. She was acting silly. <laughs> riding on a silly skateboard. Right. With a whore's attire She on. couldn't even yeah. ride that Black shit. Tights. She was about to smash her face. Right. She couldn't even ride it off. She had to carry that. With a little silly happy-go-lucky spirit. <laughs> right. You know right. what I mean? Led away with diverse lusts. And she got all kind of different lusts. Right. Ever learning. And never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Right, she ever learning. She go to college. That they, that's how all these people go to college. They are ever learning, but they got no truth. A bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> learning a learning a train learning a curriculum that's been uh, that, that was uh, created by the so-called Jew <laughs> right. and a Freemason. Look, there goes Zach De La Rosa. Where's that? Right there. Probably is. Goddamn yeah. communist. Zach De La Rocha is a communist. Da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, all, all that all that Rage Against Machine music. I used to like Rage Against Machine, but really, first one they have, right. but really Rage Against Machine, that shit was all set up and funded by the government. Because they 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 trying to use that to get uh, uh we don't yeah we don't need that. Yeah, they trying to use that music to get people to to do to control your ass, man. That's mind control. Music is a form of mind control. It's crazy how I mean, a lot of these bad ass artists come out with that first album would be nice. Well, Ray's had a few good albums. Yeah. But after but that, I know a lot of them do, yeah. After, after they came out with that first album, they're like, okay, you want the second album? Suck my yeah. cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Do some, you gotta do some nasty shit. Yeah. Oh, Zach D. LaRoche is probably a Jew. Oh, no, he's Mexican. Ah, he's Mexican. Ain't, ain't no way. He's a, he can hit Israelite indeed. That whole damn band. Faggot. Yeah, ain't no Edomite coming out like uh, Zach De La Rocha. <laughs> that boy got rhythm. You know what I'm saying? He can rap his ass off. I ain't never heard of him. You know the Rage Against Machine? Oh, that's him? Yeah. The lead singer? The singer, yeah. But yeah. Rapper, whatever the fuck he is. I thought he was biracial. I yeah. thought his mom was Well, I think he, but he's Mexican, though. Is he? Yeah, his dad's Mexican. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Because they worship, they're fucking communists. They get, they, that's why they always got the red star. You know, you know about Rage Against Machine, uh, but they use the red star as a main symbol. That goes back to the comic. That the China's got what, a red five star. Five points or six. Five that's points. Crazy. Five point star. That's the symbol of that represents power, military power. Which one? Just like yeah, that's the main demonic symbol. Is that five point star? That thing is everywhere. 
all over the American flag. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, Disney's all good. Like, yeah. like in the Lion King. Yeah. yeah. You watch The Little Mermaid, there's penises everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, all this is like this. The subconscious is absorbing all that matters. Absorbs, too. The brain is a bad boat. Yeah. Osai made no mistakes when he made the brain. He made the subconscious. <laughs> you know, who can this devil make a subconscious? Shit. <laughs> A subconscious? I mean, you have a conscious and you have a subconscious. <laughs> Dang, I mean, I'm just bugging out already. Let me leave that alone. Let me leave it alone. <laughs> you know, these devils are making all kinds of genetic modified foods. And they're, they're splicing one gene animal to another gene animal. But they want to put a uh, micro, the goal is to put a microchip in everybody's brain. Right, right. Let's put one in That's the goal. And it's going to go. Just like a revelation said, you got to have a mark in their hand or in their forehead. Yeah, Mark, that's that Mark. Transhumanism. Yeah, transhumanism. That's what it is. Mix of machines. They've already got, they, they've already uh, did tests. This was like a year ago. They put microchips inside of a, uh, two mice's brains. That was time flying. And they had, yeah, I remember. they had the mice communicating with each other over the internet. And they was in different cities, too. One mouse was in this city. The other mouse was in this city. And they was communicating with each other over the internet through the microchips in their brain. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Because they always test it on the mice before the human. Human so, you know, they, all, they already got human tests already. They already, I guarantee you, they already have military personnel with microchips in their brain. Super soldiers. Just like that movie, you seen Universal Soldier? Oh, you never seen that? That's a terrible movie. But yeah. Boys, because they walked out to me. Hey, bro, you can see him, right? <laughs> he got butt plugs in. Mm -hmm. Probably does. Look how he's walking. Get he's him on camera. Get him on camera. Just, just to testify. That's how he does. Don't worry about it. You can film whatever you want out here. That was fucking gay turn zooming in on a gay I mean, guy's ass. Just crying, turn me no, on, just man. motherfuckers walking like a straight up faggot. That's when I always thought my wife was the most beautiful when she was crying. And she was. <laughs> Something yeah. about them eyes. It just she just likes that. And that's know, funny though. That, that, that bitch was crying. <laughs> and that proverb is 9 and 13 made her cry. <laughs> and it cut her, it cut her ass like, <laughs> That's, That's what she said. She said. That proverb. Don't come out here opening your mouth just running off with all that bullshit. Scripture said the bitches need to be shut the fuck up and just listen and learn. Yeah, I was waiting for y'all to hit her with that. You know, but she got well, out of here. Well, he got it with the Proverbs 9 and 13. That's the old classic. <laughs> That'll shut him down yeah, real quick. We ain't used it in a while. Yeah, well, you're right. <laughs> now, that used to be like one of my favorite scriptures. Oh, my goodness. I used to bring that. Every bitch that came up here, Proverbs 9 and 13, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a that's an easy one to remember, too. Right. Let me go to that mark now, man. Oh, we about to get the Legion? Yeah. Okay. This is the other one, though. The one we can do with the chains. That's Legion. That is that Legion? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was, I thought there was another one. I think it is. Yeah. This is Mark 5 and 1. And they came Look, up... Look, we were just talking about that. Back to Demons again. Who? The Captain America oh, star. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we talking about something, man. We got to give it the example of the scripture. The scripture. It says it's leaving a blank and nerve. Um, they came over onto the other side of the sea, onto the country of God, the God, God, the Godness. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. Out of the tombs? Who had his dwellings among the tombs, and no man could bind him. No, not with chains. Let's this motherfucker was so crazy that he was able to tear chains. He could break chains. That's like your boy is sloth on the Goonies. Right. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. It's in the Bible. They chained him up. He break them damn chains. And the fetters broken in pieces. And people try to say, oh, this is a fantastical bullshit that could never happen. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, fairy tales. That's proof the Bible's not real. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Y'all know who created, you know, uh, the superhero Incredible Hulk is? The Incredible Hulk was created by Jack Kirby. He's Did like you the, see it hypnotic? 
Hold on, let me break this down real quick. The comic, like, there's a comic, the greatest comic book artist of all time is Jack Kirby. He created almost the entire Marvel Universe. He created the Fantastic Four, uh, uh, the Avengers, the X-Men, Hulk. Okay. Those are kind of good money. And the Black Panthers, uh, all that shit, right? But Jack Kirby said he uh, based the Incredible Hulk on a woman that was a... Uh, who, who's a child got ran over pent, ran over by a car oh, yeah. and was under a car and this happened in real life that the woman a woman lifted up the car she she was in she was in such a what's the word i'm looking for with your body she was so desperate and she she wanted to ch save her child so much right. that she got super strength and she literally picked that car up and, and saved she, her child now she got the super strength your body produces a drug called your body produces some Called stress, like if you're in a stressful situation, smash you, and you're just going to have some intense pain, the stress will take over you to pass you out and kill you. That's what it's meant to do. And because usually a woman can't lift but damn 20 pounds. Right. In a drill. So, yeah. how do you, so how do you explain that? You know what I mean? Like, right. That's the most high. That's a the super most strength. high made the human. I mean, body. this really happened. She lift, picked up a fucking car. Right, right. She picked it up enough to get that child apart. And that's when you look at Incredible Hawk and you can see that because. And Jack Kirby said it in Incredible Hawk and all of us. When David Banner gets mad. Yeah, when he gets angry. His adrenaline picks up. That's why even when you lift weights. You, too, you know about the Hulk, don't you? Yeah. yeah. His when, adrenaline picks up. You ever up. notice if you mad as fuck when you lift weights, you can lift more? You can lift more. If you like if you uh you uh you got a wife and you call a motherfucker fucking your wife, imagine that. Yeah. What you can do. You get power, bro. <laughs> you get real power. You get real power, man. So this it, is the most high who so makes So people can't say this ain't possible. It's very right. possible. You right. know what I mean? And the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tell it. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. This motherfucker crying, shouting, screaming, and just uh, hey, bro, uh, uh, random together. shit. You just crazy shit. I want to eat some shit. I want to <laughs> eat somebody. I want to kill somebody. Yeah. We're going nuts. Where's Satan? You know, hey, just, this, you can imagine what he was saying. He was tormented by them demons. Demons, right, right. Um, he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Yahweh Shai far off, he ran and worshipped him. He ran and worshipped him. So he already knew who the son of the Most High was. And cried with them demons. <laughs> oh, yeah, too, yeah. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Yahushua, thou son of the most high power? I adjure thee by the most high that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are new. Now, we was leaving one time, right? We was leaving camp one time. And this drunk-ass Arab motherfucker, drunk-ass Arab motherfucker came out of there. Remember he came out? And yeah. He was shouting and screaming out. Yeah. And this motherfucker was drooling and everything. He was possessed. Y'all wrong, y'all hate him. Yeah. Drooling and everything. And yeah, he yeah. asked him, and he asked him, I, uh, what is your name? Yeah, I, and I say, hey, demon. What, I was like, what's your demon's name? And he was like, he said, Satan. Yep, yep. And it was. And that was Satan. It was Satan. It actually was him. We met Satan. You know, we met him. That's right. When the truth is out, man, demons are out with you, but the, the Lord's with us too. Yeah. You know? That's why nothing is happening to us out here. And we actually said we met Satan. That's right. We actually met him. You <laughs> know? I'm out. Let's go. Let's get one more trip and wrap it up. Look, you gotta get it on a high note. I got let me get one. Uh, the truth only, man. When you, in, when you learn the truth, man, you're going you to start seeing a whole lot of spiritual things happen. Your spiritual eyes start to open up. You start to see all kinds of spiritual things happen. Just like that bitch. You, you witness a spiritual thing. Alright, I, I, I just want to end this, uh... I just want to end this, uh... Little video we doing on this right here. This is Revelate. This is what this was the time we in right here. And this was, this was going to happen. Revelation, this is the end game. Revelation 19 and 15, when the Lord returns, this is what's going to happen. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, Woo. that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. 
and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God. Yeah. That's what the Lord coming back, he gonna tread the wine press. You know what that means? The, when you tread the People wine press, on you're stepping on grapes. You ever hear someone say, I'm gonna bust your grape? So when the Lord coming back, he gonna be busting grapes. He be stomping heads like they grapes. And all the juices gonna pop at the brains. He be stomping motherfucking brains out. Like Jezebel, you talk about? Yeah. That blood splatter. The Lord said when he gets here, he's gonna be doing the same thing, making blood splatter. And he is, and he, no. Yep. He's a man of the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is you know that scripture though. Uh, Ezekiel. Exodus. Ex Exodus. Ex 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 Speaking so fast. Yeah, right, right. That's Exodus. Right. Yeah, Exodus 15 too. Yeah. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So why is the Lord called a King of Kings? Because we're kings. Because it's the act. Because we're because we're kings and he's kings over us. And I saw an angel standing in the sun and cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, mm. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses mm. and of them that sit in the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. So when the Lord kills all these people, you know, the, the, the virgin's going to eat good. Woo! They're going to eat good. You know what I mean? That's right. I don't even want to eat those guys. I can't read them when it's dark. Man. Yeah. Well, I'll be out here all day. I used to have a light with me. But that's the point. I just wanted to read that scripture. Uh, uh, man, that's good, sister's going to be here. This is the Bible. This is for her, too. Israel walked by here like there's nothing that is more. They can care less. They think about the, uh, whatever job they can blow. You know, to get so they can have a come up. Get her nails done. Right, go right. get her weave done. And I ain't gonna feel sorry for me. I mean, that's why basically I just read that scripture because the, the, the Lord gonna destroy all this shit. He, he gonna, he gonna tread the wine press, bro. Yeah, so you wasted the fucking time investing in the university. Because all you're doing is building up a debt anyway. Learn a bunch of nothing and building a debt. You and you get a, a piece of worthless paper walking around proud and you can't even find a fucking job to pay for the education. Ah. There are no fucking jobs out there that ain't go, and that shit ain't coming back. America's not gonna recover and prosper again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the most high built this motherfucker to destroy. It. Yeah, it's gonna be destroyed. That's why we don't get bothered no much out here because we've been out here long enough pushing what's gonna happen and these fools start to see what's gonna happen and their pride is leaving. When well, they start to see some of the well, we done prophesied all kind of shit that came true. Right. You know what I mean? That's what we are. We're prophets. We prophets mean to say before. Well, bro, we prophesied what happened down in Ferguson with them riots and the military police yeah. locking that shit down. Yeah. I mean, it ain't us. It's the most high. But we've been knowing it was going to happen. Right. They just they just wait for a, a moment. They try to try to do that with Trayvon Martin. I forgot to tell you, I don't know if y'all even know this, though, but that same shit in Ferguson, it, it almost happened here now. Yeah. Because the cops killed some brother at a uh, Walmart, and you know they're protesting that now. They're oh, trying to. Yeah, they're trying to. I didn't hear about uh, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, they're protesting. Which Walmart on the east side? I don't. I can't they, remember they, which one, but they were downtown, gathered downtown, protesting. When y'all gonna do something about that? But Columbus is. Yeah. But Columbus is a whole other city. Yeah, this city is special. This, this is a, these motherfuckers here are super they, sleep. They super sleep. They, they all, super sleep. They super fat, too. <laughs> we in a special place, man. Come on, this is Columbus, Ohio. Who discovered so-called America? You know? It, it's a liberal central right here, bro. Yeah, that's right. You mean who so-called discovered so-called America? It's a gift alone by placing yeah, us here so as prophets, man. It's a special place to be here, a prophet here, man. Because yeah. these motherfucking bastards think they really ain't going they gonna be here forever. That's what they think. You know? That's what they think. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get one more scripture. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get one more. Go ahead, bro. Uh -huh. Let my man read you something. And when you said that, I got suspended on that scripture. I heard that. Let me get my Bible. I got to back that up. Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Life, man. So, uh, Psalms 49 and 11. Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. 
Now you tell some of these rich bastards that's coming to this university that you know that that, that was born uh, privileged or deals always paid. Come outside and they breathe the Kentrell air like it's a fresh air. Oh, I'm so happy to be alive. You tell them this world is America's coming to an end. What should they say to you? Like? They'll, they'll, be like, they'll be like, America is the greatest country on earth. Right. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. We have the most powerful military. <laughs> right. We got abortion <laughs> clinics on every street. Right. And, this, and Columbus is special for that because Columbus is a wealthy city. Wealthy. We know Ohio, they say, uh... Ohio, period. Yeah, man. Ohio, period. Expect they say you can't win the presidency unless you're in Ohio. You can't win it. They always say that. Man, that shit's it's made up. about the power here. Yeah, there is power. There is power. Political power. It's something no. special to these devils about this piece of shit city. Yeah. They building it up right now. Yeah. Really well, the future will fucking walk down and do this motherfucker. They're gonna build it up. The Lord said he gonna build. Let me get that real quick. Huh. That's right. Let me get that scripture real quick. You don't even have the radio on and the windows down and the top off. Malachi. Yeah. Let me get that. Yeah, Malachi. Yeah. 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 These people think they're gonna get an education. And that's, and that's, that's, that's their, that, that piece of paper is going to feed them. <laughs> are, they're stupid, man. They're stupid. Now, Shit, it is going to feed them when they get a job at Wendy's. Maybe it was okay to go to college then. He will get arrested. But not now, man, because it's like an Ecclesiastes tells you. There's a time for everything. Yep, watch you know, this. But this right here. Now, you see Columbus, they building this city up by all other countries like Detroit. is falling apart. <laughs> You know, they got they got lions and shit running around. They got motherfuckers ain't got no water. While Detroit's crumbling, they building Columbus up. You see all them freeways they just built? They building buildings and freeways. Shit, they redoing the whole side of the river downtown. Yeah, they redoing the river banks. This is the only one of the only cities in the whole country they building up. Yeah, they build a giant tunnel on the ground right now. Yeah. Speak. But watch this, Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word to Israel uh, excuse me, the burden, the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. So the Lord loves Jacob. And I hated Esau. That's right. The Lord hates the Edomite. He especially hates him, so called Jews. Hates him. Hates him. That's why I called him the synagogue of Satan. The people want to come out here and. Uh, so call us uh, anti-Semites and they want to take up for a Jew motherfucker. You right. know what I mean? The scripture says as soon as they be born, they speak Christ. Yeah, as soon as they be born. They, they cry, they cry as a deceitful boy. Yeah, the wicked are strange from the Lord. Uh, it says, I have loved you, saved the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saved the Lord, yet I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Where if Edom saith we are impoverished, <laughs> but we will return and build the desolate places. Shit. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. It says forever. 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 Yeah, forever. So these motherfuckers, when them nuclear missiles hit, man, uh, man, ain't gonna be no recovery, man. Only thing, the only people that's gonna be living good is the. Uh, and here goes the Jimmy, Israel. James Hetfield. Yeah, like the Israel's gonna have, it's gonna have bloodthirsty eyes. I do look like James Hetfield. Now he ain't got yeah, no like tattoos. The Israel, when they get saved, gonna have bloodthirsty eyes. Hetfield's all covered in tattoos. Well, we gonna go out. Um, putting shackles on Those are fake <laughs> tattoos. He just wears them while he's in they're concert. Rich, yeah, right. They gonna hit, they 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 they're, 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 they're they don't have they don't get to die in this first nuclear fire. That's the that's their right as the elite. Y'all trying they're to make the first some money? Slave. So oh, after yeah. we come down from UFOs, after we separate <laughs> our families and after we gather with the Lord in the air, which man, we can go through all these scriptures. Man, we we bad, man. <laughs> we can go on, we can go on forever, man. Just go on forever with this, man. Hey, that reminds me. Just go on forever because the Lord gave us this wisdom to give it to y'all, man. That's what we do. We give it to. That's why the Lord said to Peter, He said, "Feed my sheep." Feed, what did he say? He said, "What three times?" He said three times. That's right. That's just right. like just like Peter, did, the Lord said before the Lord. Young brothers, I'm out with fifty cents. Sorry, bro. We broke too. Yeah, I got no more. I'm about to ask you the same thing. I heard that, bro. 
Shit. Yep. Oh, that's your umbrella a little better. Oh, no. I think I went on the wrong side of the road. We can go home and home and home. We used to. We used to have to do that. After we come out here, we go to the studio and we make a home video. Well, we, you know, I, we gotta get a good spot where we can do that, man. We need to make more home videos. Cause it's, it's hard to get, a lot of times, like, I was just about to break something down and just got interrupted. <laughs> so it's hard to break, to go to some, you can't just come out on the streets and go uh, mm -hmm. super deep and break down in, cause you get interrupted. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to do in-depth breakdown yeah. sometimes outside cause you get interrupted. Now how the woman come come out here and teach this word? They so got them both away, bro. They were really, <laughs> <laughs> simple. You know what I mean? Said they take it both away. They can't. They can't. This, that's why the Lord. None of the apostles. That's why the Lord never chose women to teach this word. And then there wasn't no Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Mary Magdalene. Right. Mary Magdalene represents Israel. Yeah. Yeah. You can turn it off.